So now we're going to be running a logistic regression model on the MACD histogram, the money flow index, Bollinger Bands, and the relative strength index. Hopefully, if they're all working in harmony, we should see some sort of relationship. I'm extremely interested by this, actually. There's a much more healthy distribution of predictions now, which is exciting. What if we just add more variables? Okay, 0.54, a little bit more information. Let's look at our regression output. It's a nice distribution centered around 0.5. You know, from 0.4 to 0.6, it's pretty good. So what we can do is we can set up a trading strategy that only looks for predictions that are around this 0.55 to 0.45 zone, and then take trades based on these predictions and see if that gives us any different results. So we're getting closer to a logistic regression trading strategy that might actually work. And I look forward to seeing you in the next episodes. So until next time, stay sharp.